before it was like, oh, you know, they would do this to my mom. You know, the Asian right, eye to my mom. Right. So my mom was like, I got to Americanize you as soon as possible. Mm. I don't want you to have to go through that. And I feel cheated because I should know Korean. Let's go. Well, it's a little stuck this morning. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty nice day. There's not one cloud in the sky. All right, hey, what's up, everyone? I kind of took a break from YouTube this past week. I uh, wanted to focus more on Sierra and just make sure she didn't have any more complications with those seizures. Good news is she's, she seems to be be plenty fine. No, see here, sweetie. She seems to be plenty good. Um, the, the blood work came back. <laughs> there she goes. I think she's gonna get some water. Uh, the blood work came back clear and the EKG that she had on her, no, 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 stay. No, we're not going outside. The EKG that she had on her heart uh, came back came back all clear as well. So we're in good shape there. Come on over here. Come on. Over here. Sierra. Now. Over here. Come on. No, no. She's going to just sit on the floor. Okay, this isn't quite going like I had hoped, but I was going to do a video with her like right here the whole time and me showing her a bunch of affection and kind of getting those emotional uh, heartstrings pulled on a little bit, but that's not going to be the case here. So anyway, she's doing great. Um, it was pretty scary though. She, she had a seizure. It lasted for almost, I would think it was probably almost about five minutes and uh, got her um, into the truck and she was convulsing really bad and her eyes were twitching and she couldn't, she, she, she kind of come in and out of it. And, and uh, uh, then it got to the point to where she, she got real low on the ground and she was just twitching real bad and you could tell it was really uncontrolled jerky movements and she didn't know what was going on and so she was pretty scared and I was scared too I was like I didn't know what was happening either I didn't know if this was like the beginning of the end for her if she ate something funny and was having a bad reaction or, or what was going on but it certainly you know freaked me out and so I, I took her and I, I got her in the truck real quick and then we sped over to the uh, Mont Vista Animal Hospital, which is a really highly rated animal hospital here in the valley. Went over there, got her all checked out and everything, and, and spent the afternoon over there. And since then, uh, we've pretty much t taken it easy. Uh, the, doc the, the vet told me, he's like, look, you know, seizures are tough on animals. They're tough on any any living being. And so uh, he's like, just keep her kind of lo laying low uh, for the first couple days after this happens. And then after that, he's like, just ease her back into hiking. And so what I did was, is just, just uh, yesterday here, uh, we went on a hike through my favorite area of this place. It's called Witch's Canyon. And so that's what I'm going to show you now is this the area of Witch's Canyon. And then um, also one thing is that I'm going to be switching out of the tent here. And uh, I'm going to be, be going into uh, truck camping here shortly. And I've got a wood stove coming, like a backpacking wood stove, which I'm going to try to put inside the awning room. And I've got a, a DIY stove jack that I'm going to sew into the wall and cut out, cut out a, a little place for the stovepipe to go through. That's um, that's heat rated for those stovepipes. So uh, I'm going to be doing that. The the stove's coming today, and so I've been watching tracking UPS tracking. It left the Denver facility yesterday and should be here uh, before close of business today. So I've got that coming, and then uh, I'm going to spend the weekend getting that all dialed in. So. 
Um, I can't wait for that. That's going to be great for mud season because, you know, the Big Ten's awesome. This thing is a freaking Taj Mahal. It's uh, huge and it's really comfortable to be in. But, I mean, you're kind of anchored to one spot. And now with the season getting nicer and the, the trails opening up with the weather um, starting to melt all the snow, you know, I want to get out on the trails and start jamming and I want to move around a bunch and I don't want to have to be tethered to one spot. So this is going to be cool to do this and I'm really looking forward to showing you all how this works with the with the wood stove inside the awning room. So anyway, let's check out uh, Witches Canyon and I hope you all are having a great Friday. Thanks. Cats here. All right, so we got out here and the sun got out, which is great, or the sun came out, which is great. And the clouds were just hanging, I'll show you above the canyon here, just hanging like right there. So as long as they stay there, we're gonna keep on hiking and uh, I like this canyon. This is Witches Canyon. This place is cool. Some really awesome rock formations like, you know, big old Land of the Lost boulders. Uh, stuff you'd see like in the Star Wars movie set, you know. <laughs> it's kind of like the terrain around here. And it's cool because there's all these like nooks and crannies to get into in these, in these rocks. This is all lava rock and this is one of the other lava tubes that was massive that ended up collapsing. But uh, it's really cool back in here. I like it. I like it a lot. There's no one here. So once again, I've got the trail to myself. It looks like there's some some nice, like back, kind of like backcountry sites to pack into, like this one right here. Kind of nice to bring the tent. Come hang out here. Pretend I'm a rock climber for a day. <laughs> Which I am most certainly not. Ah, wind's picking up now. I wonder if the clouds are changing. It looks like this one right here is coming in. The one that's, uh, let's see if you can see it right behind me there. That big one right there. It looks like this bad boy is creeping up on us. So, whoops. Let's go a little bit further. And as soon as we start seeing a little bit of moisture, I gotta, I, we gotta book it back to the truck. Reason being is that those, those roads that we came in on are pretty steep and the mud out here is really slick when it gets, uh, when the ground gets wet. This is cool in here, let's go check this out. Uh, when the ground gets wet, so I, w I don't wanna be able, I don't wanna get stuck in here, you know, um, and not be able to drive out. This is kind of a cool little, little area with some rocks in here, all these volcanic formations is from these rocks. This is. It's just cool terrain, I just don't see this very much. Or ever. <laughs> so, all right, Sierra, come on, let's go over here, let's get back on the trail. I'm off the trail right now, which is bad hiking etiquette. Not supposed to do that. So you can see how a rock over there is really good for rock climbing. And you probably can't see it from here, but I can, I can see like a bunch of chalk from people uh, getting their handholds in there. Definitely awesome terrain through here. I like it a lot. It'd be easy to get lost though if you didn't know where you were going. Because this stuff just winds through. Ah, uh, it looks like, I bet springtime this is really cool with this creek rolling through here. It'd be nice to come check it out when it's nice and green. It gets really hot here in the summer though. Like super hot, desert style hot, you know what I mean? What you doing, babe? Sierra, Sierra, sweetie. Let's keep going, come on. Good girl. This is 
is a great canyon. All right, sweetie. Hey Sierra, what you got back there, girl? Come here. Come here. Come here, babe. Come on. Happy?